All right, now I'm gonna do a mechanics demo. This demo illustrates the principles of projectile motion and as well what's known as relative velocity. So I'm gonna have something like this. Something is moving this way and it shoots a ball out. What's gonna to happen to the ball? This was a very famous thought experiment explained by Galileo. Well, a lot of people that might not realize this, uh, might not realize the intricacies of relative velocities, might say, the ball is gonna go up, come back down, therefore by the time the ball comes down, the car is gonna be here. So the ball is just gonna simply go up and down and it's gonna miss the car, okay? But in reality, what you should notice will happen is the ball will actually go up and down and, and get in the car. Now, how do you explain that? From the, depends from which perspective you're looking. If you look at it from the external reference frame, from the ground reference frame, this is how it will look. The ball has an initial velocity this way, called the initial y, and the ball has an initial velocity, the initial x, equal to the same velocity as the car, right? So it's going with the car. So from my point of view, from the ground point of view, the ball is actually going at an angle and it's gonna make a projectile motion. So it should shoot out this way and then by the time the car is here, it should land in the car as, as normal, okay? Pretty much this is what happens if you are in the car sitting and you're playing with a tennis ball or something, you're throwing it up, it's just from the outside, it's gonna look like the tennis ball is, has a projectile motion. Now, how about from the perspective of the car? From the perspective of the car, the ball, the car thinks that it's standing still and the ground is passing by it. So the ball is shot up and comes down. So from the perspective of the car, the ball just simply goes up and down and it doesn't have a, a x component of velocity. In the meantime, the ground is passing by the car and going this way, so the ball should just simply go up and down, just like you in the car throwing the tennis ball up and down. Of course, this changes if there are any accelerations in the system. If, if while the ball is going up, some force slowed the car down, all of a sudden the car slows down and the ball ends up ahead of the uh, car. If something speeds up the car, the ball should end up uh, behind the car. So this only works if the car is going at constant speed and it's not changing during the experiment. So we're gonna try that out here. I have a ball inside of this uh, receptacle and I'm gonna push this cart and at the same time I'm gonna pull on the string the ball is going to go up and down. So hopefully if nothing slows down the cart or if nothing speeds up the cart, it should come back and land on it. So, okay, let's try this here. Sometimes it, uh, I throw this, I'm going to push it. See that? Now if we could slow that down, you'll see that it, would, it actually looks like a projectile motion. This really is a good uh, experiment to show that it goes up, down, and from different perspectives, the, the car should be able to catch it. Okay, thank you.